Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here back with some more. Well, we're in our Wrexham safe, but it's International Duty Day with Wales. So we just had the team meeting. It did not go very well, but only because of the fact of there's a lot of established players at this level. And in Wales, there's not a lot of players that are actually playing for us at the moment that are kind of bringing up the pace of the team. The team is kind of downbeat just because of the fact of there's not a lot of competition, but we plan to make that a big thing. So without further ado, let's get into our two friendlies here. International duty. Here we go. International duty. We are taking on Costa Rica and Estonia. If you haven't seen it, here is Costa Rica. They are 60 seconds in the world and then we are taking on estonia who is a hundred and or yeah 119th For reference wales is we're 50th we're tied for 50th so i think what we need to do is take that next step and start getting into some good European matches and we need to advance the World Cup and see what we can do. At one point, February 28th, we were 20th. So we have fallen all the way down to 50th. So that is why our previous coach was fired. So here's our friendly today with the Costa Rican side. Obviously, we're going to be playing this, and we're going to see how we put on here. So we're going to have a complete change at the half just because we want to kind of see what happens here. Paul Mullen will be starting at the left side in the wing uh, with Johnson as a complete forward up top. James is going to be on the right. That's Daniel James. Wilson and Levitt will be in the middle with Mpadu, the defensive mid. In defense, starting from left to right, Norrington Davies, uh, Rodon Davies, and Williams. And then Ward will be the keeper. So we're going to play a little bit positive. We're going to overlap. We're going to play like we did with Wrexham to begin with. Uh, let's not play over the top. Let's just focus our play down the middle. Let's see how that works. We're going to play more of a high press standard, step up more. Looks good. We'll submit the team and let's see how this goes in our first international game as head coach it is a friendly going against costa rica and we'll see how this one works with costa rica relatively close to our place i know what we're capable of now here we go costa rica is playing a 4-4-2 if i remember correctly and they are okay Let's see what we can do we're in our reds we are the red dragons just like well Rexham, which is funny Let's encourage the boys going over the top this is going to be the first one Barin is going to be blocked off. There's Cadesa Thorn for the Costa Rican team, the former Wrexham player. Mpadu is going to wrestle that and try to take that ball. We have clear possession here. You love to see it. There's Paul Mullen in his first international game. Arrington Davies out. Paul Mullen is going to try to cross it. Tight space, but it's all right. Rondone, Wilson over the Norrington Davies, plays it up. There's Johnson, and there is a goal. It's Brennan Johnson. Let's go. The first goal for the Wales national team. I'm hyped. It's first time playing any international ball in football manager ever. So we'll see if we can get this Welsh team up and be monsters of Europe, which is going to be very, very difficult to compete with the likes of England, 
France, Spain, Portugal, Italy, and to some extent, the US. Good header away there. Alfaro takes a shot and that is missed. But you also can't forget the fact of Brazil, Argentina, South Korea and Japan are, are shockers at times, real life wise. So we'll see what we can do long term. It's going to start with getting youngsters in the, both Wrexham, but also the uh, leagues that are in Wales and see if we can actually do some good stuff and get some good players in there that are going to be young. Here's Mullen. Plays an eight. Now, that's a bit too far, Mullen. As James takes a shot and it's headed back to the keeper. Okay, let's see if we can maintain this. Praise the boys. Rand's going to go over the top. Redone's going to block. The he uh, get the header, but then Salinas' shot is blocked as well. Another corner set piece. We're doing a full side rotation at the half. So there's one thing to remember. It's Johnson that's off the pole and well, that's Johnson to Johnson really Just quite funny Praise Rendon header and that is wide right It's a good try there Okay. Um, is there? Did I really need to make another? I did. I need to copy this so I can literally change this. That kind of sucks. Okay. Let's make all these changes. There's only five subs. I noticed that was the case. Okay, pull's gonna have to come out. Um, that's Smith. To come here. We need another Metzala type. Okay, um, we we'll can play on the right. Okay, let's let's do this actually. Okay, and then so who can play? What is that? Mitsala.
Looking who can play that. Might bring James back. Yeah, cause let's bring Wilson over here. And then let's bring Can Johnson play in the right? Yes. Let's bring Johnson on the right as inside forward. Let's bring Sherman up top. And the Levitt needs to come out. Hunter Roberts can come in here. Let's get Williams up for Levitt, actually. Put Roberts here. We'll pull this. It should be good. Nico Roberts is going to be a box to box midfielder, and Daniel Jones will be the Mitsala. Nope, flip that around. There we go. Okay, that took a bit because we have some guys that play 45 and I didn't realize it's only five subs. So it's mimicking a typical friendly, international friendly, which makes sense. Sherman here has the ball and no one's up to her to help Sherman or Charmin Charmin like the toilet paper. Okay well, It's not a CH. It's an SH but Charmin The guy is a monster. How tall is this guy? He looks massive. He's six six Wow 21 years old Okay. I do like Johnson. We'll see what he, what effect he can play on an inside forward and the outside. Okay. Good ball. Ooh, that was a nice try for a through ball there. Costa Rica is going to try to counterattack. Mullen's going to put some pressure, so it has to be passed. There's Smith doing a lot of work. Okay, out there, Davies. Moving around. Good ball. Good shot. Just not there, but it is a good shot. You love to see it from a youngster like Charmin. Roberts delivers it in, headed away. Good ball over to pool over. It's not there. Davies James. That's a good cross. Not able to win it in the air. Smith's going to take a shot, and that is wide right. I think it was a little, also a little bit too high. I'm going to praise the boys. I feel like we're playing pretty well. Granted, this should not be close, but it happens. Cool, going over Johnson that is blocked now remember we are relegated to the second tier technically in the euros I think it's the B so we do have to win our group get all that get promoted back up in the the a brackets 
I think that's ultimately where our team level fell down. So the 20s is getting relegated from that championship portion of being down at the next level. I'm loving what I'm seeing though. I really am. Okay, good turn there. Looking. Cool hits us. Oh man, but luckily we get it back. Davies up the top to Mullen. Good moving around. Good one in the back with the header. Good ball deep. Mullen's going to cross it. But Charmin just does not have the speed to get there. Plus, I think that was the cross was a little too far ahead. Miss it. And we allow a goal right there. Cameron Johnson scores for Costa Rica. And that's because we missed it off that header. We're looking over the top. There it is. Come on, Charmin. I'm going to flip this a little bit. We're going to see how Sharma plays out wide. I do want to play with multiple midfielders like this. Connor Roberts is going to get the get the get the card there. That was kind of an iffy challenge. Ward does make the stop and gets on the ball. So we have something. Let's go more attacking. See if we can put some pressure here. The XG was heavily in our favor and we just could not win things. We just cannot win the ball. Sort of master should be winning. Is it one that we need to rethink our position? Probably not. Our formation, I mean. Here we are. Wales against Estonia. So Johnson is out. We're going to actually take him out completely. Let's put Paul Mullen here and... I think we're going to use Ben Davies back here. Callum Jones can come in for Levitt. Ben Lloyd can come in here. We're going to flip this around. We're going to have one pressing forward and one attacking forward. I will have it. Otherwise, I think we're good from there. Um, let's have Owen Evans come in as the keeper today. Not Owen Evans, Nathan Shepard. I'm sorry. Nathan Shepard's going to come in, and this is how we are going to play. Coming through. Hey, so obviously for a couple 45 minutes more 45 minutes are in there and maybe Brendan Johnson will come in in the last 45 minutes with Levert. So that might be our three subs there and then probably Roberts and actually Mephim will probably come in and then we'll probably play Wilson. If anything. Yeah. Submit the team and let us play. We want to play higher tempo. Let's switch this up. So we're right early crosses. I think we're good with everything else. Let's not play narrow. Let's play a little wide Let's counter. Go standard defensive line with a high press. Step up more in a defensive line. 
Let's play a little positive here against Estonia. Padu will take the captain spit. We have a bunch of ineligible oh, because we had a game here. Okay. Here is the Wales game. We had to fix our Rex Rexum uh lineup for that. And Padu, I think he can be a leader. His 13 leadership. He's a true leader. He should be alright. We'll we'll likely switch him out anyway, so. It's not going to be a big deal. It's not like we're in an actual competition where we need to, well, kind of force through a win. It is a friendly, so. We'll be in our reds today, and Estonia will be in their blues. I think it's a very big thing to play a team around our ranking and a team over so we can get some confidence. We can kind of see what we're working with slowly, but surely. Tam moving around to Mets. The biggest thing is Figaro will not be able to. I mean, if he's at the Honduras, maybe when he's over 21. And he won't be on the Honduras team anymore. And then maybe we can poach him over to the Wells team, but can be a lot of team building and i'm hoping to not get fired before we have a chance to do some work there's Madonna and padu one up to lloyd lloyd takes a shot and that's wide right what a great shot by lloyd who is playing as the shadow striker and padu sticking with the ball you'll love to see it they're going to drop it all the way back to Hein. There's Tam to Metz. Back to Tam. Playing over the top. Rendon wins that. And here's Norton Davies. Jones. We went back to Davies, Jones, and Padu. And Padu's looking for that ball. There it is. Paul Mullen. Paul Mullen up. Charmin. And that is going to be wide right. Charmin just cannot get the ball on target. As Roberts has a great set piece kick and hits the wall, and that's going to be a corner. Roberts is going to take the corner here. Ball in, and we are not going to win that. Nimpatu with a shot screams up over the bar. We've had so many chances already for, I think, at least for our side. I think there's been a couple for Estonia. I'm liking our formation right now. As that goes in, Paul Mullen. Come on, Paul. It is wide left. Robert's going to deliver this one. Hein punches it. Lloyd to Rendon. Rendon shot. Hein is there. I'm loving this international play right now. This is the first time, maybe because it's new and shiny to me, at least to me wise. I know a lot of people have complained that it is not, it, it hasn't changed much, obviously, in past couple of FMs, but I've never played international ball, so we'll see how it works. There it is, the Vahar. Bahar is tipped and that is out. The corner set piece for Estonia. Let's make sure we're not anything crazy now. Koyev. Davies heads it out. Bahar back to Koyev. Norton Davies good header out. 
we're able to reset the play there. Here's Norton Davies. The Lloyd Lloyd cross in. And there it is, Charmin. His first goal for the Wales. The Welsh national team. Wales has to be completely ecstatic from a youngster making a big goal like that. Charmin. He is 21. So we'll see what he can do. Good aggression and anticipation, which is why he is up here at the first team. Mullen's going to have it. And there it is. Charmin again. The assist from Paul Mullen. That is 2 0. We are having fun here in Wales. I think we're playing in Cardiff, technically. We'll have to see exactly what we can do though in a actual competition. I'm not sure when the actual next competition is. We're gonna have to look after this. Good ball over the top. Mullen is gonna play it up. Lloyd has a chance. He is offsides though. Just a tad bit. Maybe a step or two. Would have been a great through ball to Mullen. And Padu is playing absolutely fantastic. Mullen. Williams trying to get it to Sharman. That one's to Sharman. Sharman doesn't win it, but that's over the net. Liviak. That ball is taken by Mullen. Lloyd to Jones. Charmin looking. Charmin's just triple team there. And Roberts takes that one away. Movement around. Rendon. Norton Davies. He wants to go long with it. It's not there. Napadu turns. Lloyd's there. Lloyd can't do anything with it. As Sorga, they establish a fast break here, and that is some good recovery on defense. To come up behind him and prevent that. Mullen, good move inside. Levac takes it from him. Mullen sticks with it though, and that's why he's on the national team. He's sticking with the group of play. Good hustle. I think in real life, we might see a guy like Paul Mullen up at the Welsh national team at some point. I don't know if he's a fixture for say like World Cup wise, but he'd be a fixture made from like the Euros. I would like to see him in there. Kind of playing with the ball a little bit. I don't really like that, but we get it out and then we lose it there. I knew that was going to happen. They're about to play when we're playing with the ball right here and not getting it out. That's what tends to happen. Okay. Let's go to the dressing room. We're going to make some changes here. There's a couple guys that their teams, respective teams, only won 45 minutes. The pool is going to come in. Levitt's going to come in for uh, Epadu. We're going to flip that around. Uh, Levitt's going to come in and. Actually, that's fine. Brent Johnson is going to come in and we are going to have him play. Actually, we're going to keep Johnson out. Daniel James. Hmm. This is an issue here. So have Daniel James coming for Martin Davis. And we'll have him as a quick complete wing back as well. We'll go two complete wing backs, maybe. No, we'll go like that. I think. 
And the next one we'll do is... Let's have... Did Tyler Roberts come in? Daniel James came up, come over here. Um, actually, let's flip that. Okay, so those ones are in. Let's go with. I think Matt's. Uh, get Memphis back here. And let's grab thinking Brooks. Then Lloyd can actually move back here. Yeah, let's do this. Then we'll grab Who is it? David Brooks? Oh well. Let's grab Colwell and put him up here. And that's where we'll have our five subs already. Okay. Obviously we won't be making subs like that in reality. But like in the real world. But it's a friendly. We have to watch out also we should have subs that are more than five as colwell almost has one that is wide left so we get a right wider like sub range i'd like to do a complete probably 11 from 15 or something like that if there is that that allow us a good rotation of players It's James. Here it is. Looking, trying to get it in, and there is Mullen with the header. It's not there. Let's praise the boys. We're up 2 1, guys. It, there's no reason to be angry about things. It's all good. Yeah, ne next bit, I'm going to have more subs, I think. It's just the easier way to do it. Lloyd that's up to Colwell like to Levitt trying to get to Charmin but it's not there good defense there it is plays over the top we're not able to win it that's one and there's a shot off the post Charmin almost had his third goal of the day and that ricocheted off the right post Wales has had 14 shots with five on target. Pretty good. This formation, I think this is what we're going to roll with. Not that a lot of people actually play this formation. In football manager, I've noticed maybe a couple teams per league. As Paul Mullen has a shot. Defender kind of blocks off the back post angle. And Mullen has no... A recourse but the shooter pretty much at the keeper and hopefully the keeper didn't make a play in what she did there approaching the 80th minute here i'm loving what we're doing here good through ball there by estonia and that's going to be wide right Colwell here. What a shot. Hein plucks it out of the air. That was a good one. Let's praise the team again. Oh, well, this one's a little deeper now, so he's going to play it as a set piece. He does win the second head or two, the second effort. There it is the pool. Pool looking through ball to Charmin. Charmin takes a shot, and Hein does save it. 
Jarman's been doing great. I think he's going to be the next big international thing for us. It'll be Brendan Johnson and Charmin up top. As Paul Mullen just gets taken from behind by the defender and Mets actually prevents the shot on goal. Levitt out to James. We go deep all the way to the byline. Mullen is going to head it right at the keeper. Okay. I mean, what, what can you really say there? Other than it's a decent run of passing. It's been a deep run of shooting. There's another good pass. Charmin just doesn't have the speed to get there before the defender. A minute of added time. I will say we've dominated this game, but a 2-1 win, at least on the score sheet, is not complete domination, but I felt like we were at no real threat that entire game, and that is going to be a win for us. So thanks for hanging out, guys. First dip in the international play with the Welsh team, with Wales, and really... Yes, there's more I would like here. But I am loving the fact that we get to see some of these guys that we'll probably never play with because they're all over the world. And I'm enjoying the Welsh national team fixture. So that's going to be it for today. It is the weekend uh, when you're seeing this. So at this point, don't forget to watch some Rexon that was during the week as well as Back with some more football manager on Monday. So thanks for hanging out. Go and leave a like below, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Later.